Thank you. Thank you. Ah, welcome, everyone. I'm back from Christmas holidays, and uh, it, was, it was really miraculous. It was just filled with love. Um, and, you know, I was only in, like, the thick of Lafayette, where I'm from, for a couple days with the family. So I don't have a lot to share about that because it went pretty well. Um, just a miracle with my nephew who I hadn't seen since he was eight and he was now almost 13 and you know he just it was like he never forgot me and it just reminded me of the love in a child's heart like my sister was always so worried how can you leave you know you're not gonna know your nephew and how can he how can you not buy him presents and he's not gonna even remember you oh my god he was like in tears when he had to go to his dad's like Aunt Ricky Aunt Ricky I mean I was just like Oh my God, I really don't have to do anything for this child's love. So it was really, really miraculous. Um, I didn't get to hold the baby, which was my new nephew. And I just, I'll come back to that because right before the show came on, I had a hot flash and I almost had to strip off my clothes. So this is going to be my fan so that I don't have to do that. So while I was at my sister's, it was like a hospital room. It was so cold in there and I was, and I'm going through menopause at the same time. So I have a cold. I don't know if that, I tried to deny it because I'm not a body, but yeah, it's, it's full on. And uh, so, but I'm really like not bothered by it. I don't know why I, I'm just kind of watching it all go by. And um, I had, I had read something on Facebook that said, um, if you think you're enlightened, go and spend three days with your family. <laughs> so we went to this big Christmas party on Christmas um, Eve, not just a dinner party, like my sister's second family. And at that point, I heard my brother hadn't come home for two nights in a row, and he, he wasn't coming for Christmas with the new baby. And I just started bawling. I didn't even know where it came from. I was like, oh, my God, I'm not going to get to hold the baby. And I just started crying, and I just thought, mm. yeah. Um, and I kept saying, I'm fine, I'm fine. And my sister's like, no, you're not. Why are you even trying to say you're fine? You're not fine. So it was just great. You know, you just, yeah, if you think you're enlightened, go home for three days. But that was really, that was, it was really, I felt a lot of love with my dad, who's really hard. And, and so here I am back. And um, I put something on hold. Did I say it? I got a little lost. But anyway, the trip was miraculous. And, um, and I'm sick, and that's even miraculous, too. Like, I, don't, I can tell you that I don't, I don't mind these symptoms. The only thing that kind of bothered me was getting up to drive over here today, and that went well, too, so <sighs> I don't know. Um, but, but what I did want to talk about real quick also is that I've noticed that, you know, it's the end of the year, and um, I remember this quote from the Course, let's make this year... Um, the same, different. different by making it all the same. And um, I was just thinking, you know, all of us have had such deep, deep, deep prayers to heal. And, you know, it's Christmas and the Christ is born and we have all these deep, deep prayers and you have them in your mind like it's a new year and there's been so much healing. And so as I walk around since I've been back, I thought I was going to stay in my room and rest up, but it seems like there was some intensity at La Casa. And so I just kind of like walked around and there was just a lot of intensity. So I went in for a expression session and, and I just remind, and, and here when I walked into the house too, there was some intensity for some and I just, and with my cold that's up, I was just thinking, you know, it's, it's just that last, it's just an answer to our prayers. It's the end of the year, like the last residue being pushed up to the surface, that's all that's happening. Like it's that last push so that all you have to do is see, oh, I, I feel unworthy or I feel special love, special hate, or I feel um, uh, one of the students such a fear, like a childhood fear, like that something's going to jump out of the pool and get me. Like all these people are sharing all these things and I'm just like, wow, just embrace it. Just watch it. It's about the content, not the form, making it all the same and watching it all go by. And I just wanted to say, like, if it feels really intense right now, it's, it's okay. 
nothing's wrong. Nothing at all is wrong. You can just let it come up and know the healing is coming to the surface and you can just see it. And that's, that's your only part. Oh, I see I feel afraid. I see I feel unworthy. I see I feel special hate. And, um, and now you hand it over to Spirit. He's got you from there. So you've done your part. You've seen it. And it's a miracle. It's beautiful that it's all coming up. So that's just what I've been noticing. And for myself, I'm in a very peaceful place of just kind of watching it all. So I didn't actually know what I was going to do the show about. I didn't feel like I had a lot to share from my short trip home. Um, and I don't feel upset that I have a cold. So I was just um, doing some little preparation for my tour. And I was just writing a little email to my friend um, Jean in France saying, look, I haven't forgot you. I'm coming out that way. I don't know if we'll have a gathering, if, if she's even in touch with a lot of A Course in Miracles people right now. But a lot of people I've been in contact with, they don't have a group right now. So I'm just going to visit and just you know, have holy encounters sometimes. It doesn't have to be about a gathering or a retreat. So I was just writing to her and saying, yeah, I, you're in my mind and, and I know you're going through some deep healing and you're not alone. And, and then I just saw myself writing, would you want to share on the show? And she, I said, I don't even know where that came from, but it must be spirit. So, um, yeah, my favorite part of the school is when I show up every morning and just with my coffee, I just show up and say, how's everyone doing? That's all I do. And I mean, one person sharing and whatever comes through me, you know, whatever comes through me is for me first, right? Because we're teaching what we would learn. And then everyone in the room is like, oh, that was for me. So that's how I, that's how I felt to do the show. Maybe that is the show. And I would love to bring Jean on and just have her share where she's at. Um, I don't even know if she's in a good space or a bad space because Spirit told me not to plan. So if you guys could bring um, Jean in France up. There she is. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's good to see you. You too. Yeah. I, I have no idea what to share either, but I didn't want to plan, so we'll see. Um, just seeing the word humbled is so, every time I watch your show, really speaks to me. And I, it's where I am right now, I think, because yeah. I'm, going, I'm going through a lot. Uh, it's very intense unwinding right now, but I've, I'm also more at peace than I've been in years. So it's kind of like there's this steady, stepping back that I, I didn't know before oh. with the very intense moments of fear that come in. And um, so every day is a different subject, different unwinding. Um, I can't say it's all about one thing. It's just everything. And uh, past weekend, I had kind of a, a crisis of faith, is what I guess what people would call it. Just a sudden, oh my God, do I even believe in God? What is God? And it was terrifying. It was really, I've dedicated my whole life to this now. And then to suddenly say, if I don't have this, what, what is there? What do I do? What can, do I throw away the course? Do I just roll up in a ball, what do I do? I was just the whole world kind of shattered and it was really frightening. And uh, I don't have any local group or place to, to express. So I was a lot on the Facebook groups and um, uh, they, I actually, I got a message from David it was several paragraphs, but it's the very first line that's that brought me back, I'd say, was um, belief in God is unnecessary. And it just... <sighs> okay, thank you. <laughs> it really, uh, I relaxed. And 
um, I used um, the movie watchers guide um, that same morning I had just said I don't know I just all I know is I don't know and I'm just gonna be okay with that and uh, I decided to just search for faith on the movie watchers guide and wow. just go down the list of the results and watch the movies <laughs> I didn't know what else to do and uh, there was the Thomas Keating movie. It's a, it's a documentary about Thomas Keating. And um, he went through, a, he spoke of a period where he went through questioning his faith and um, how he used contemplation and, and silence. And so that kind of gave me somewhere to go, <laughs> some, something to do. And it was, it ended up being an amazing day. I think just, I'm so grateful that David stepped in and that the, the tools were there and I, I got through that day. <laughs> um, but it seems already years ago now, other things are, the one thing I believe the only thing I believe is that I don't know, which is why I think humbled is my word. I just don't know anymore. And I don't want to try. I'm, I don't even want to think about it or try to figure it out. It's just I'm, the, I know life as I knew it before doesn't work. I know the way I, of thinking before through the ego doesn't work. That's all I know. So it's kind of, I'm emptying out, I think, this, this feeling of, I'm not even thinking about it anymore, I'm not judging it anymore, just let it all come out. And so it is, it's all coming out <laughs> very wow. intensely. And uh, every day, every day, every moment, and it's a very intense period. And I still can't say, I believe in God, there's still some questioning there, but I'm okay with not knowing. And I know in the course it says, you, even if you don't believe it, you might not believe everything. I say, just do it. And I do believe in the unwinding. I know that that is an experience. It's not something I believe in. It's my experience is more and more peaceful, so. That's where I am now. <laughs> wow. I mean, I know you have a very strong relationship with Jesus. Hmm. I envy that. I want someone or someone to turn to. I want to believe someone will catch me. But I feel like wanting it doesn't mean make it true. <laughs> Though maybe it does. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's what you're discovering hey so I don't know I don't have any answers I just have a letting go I think <sighs> wow that's that's so perfect oh my god I had no idea I didn't know that you were even in touch with David or any of this and Oh my God, I just, I really hear now, make this year different by making it all the same. Like you're saying, it's something new every day. Like that was one thing. I, lo I, I think I lost my faith in God, but that's even past. And now it's this and this and this. It's like, it's, you're being given a, an opportunity to make it all the same by just choosing in your mind that you can't be hurt. I think it's really cool what you're facing. You're looking at it as something's going wrong, but oh my God, this is everything. You know, we, we all have to get so honest with ourselves. Yes, I have a relationship with Jesus, but I did not always. And the relationship that I began with with Jesus was because my mother told me to have faith and I was a good girl and I had faith. I believed in something that I prayed to every day since I was a small child, but it didn't make sense to me. I thought this can't be a loving God. Why am I here in this family? What is happening? And I had to question 
my faith as well at one point. And I, what is God? I mean, what is God? The word God, what does it mean? You know, it means nothing. Words mean nothing. You're looking for something inside of yourself. It's, you're looking for yourself, you know? And it's, it, you can take off all the names and labels and yeah, you've done that and that's why you're gonna be able to be shown that you were created by a loving presence, let's call it, that you are that loving presence and that all that's happening is that all of our beliefs that there's something other than love is that's all coming up to the surface. So you have a prayer, you can call it a blade of grass. It literally doesn't matter. There's something more to this life than what you're experiencing. And you know it. You've had moments of love. You didn't have to have Jesus catch you. Like I, I mean, even though I had those, um, those moments of knowing and experiencing light moments, I still have had to face doubts. Where are you? Why is this happening to me? I've had to do that. But, but what we're really learning is, is, yeah, there's so many aspects to it, like the power of our own mind to choose our thinking. And yet, at the same time, everything that's believed has to come up and be seen and handed over. So I just feel like it, it's that moment when we really say, look, I don't know if I believe in God. I don't know what I believe. I don't know what's real anymore. It's, it's the moment when you can be shown. Hmm. Thank you. That's helpful. Yeah. We can never um, see our advances. Like in the darkest hour is, is right where the truth comes to our mind. So you just keep going. I mean, you're, you're doing it. You're doing it, you guys. This is just a, a layer upon layer upon layer. And you will get those moments of and you're getting them. You're finding that peace because we wouldn't keep going. How could we keep going if we didn't have those moments where we're like, okay, there's a safety underneath this somewhere. I can keep going. Because actually what we realize is that we can't go back. We can't go back because everything that's ever felt loving has what? It's ended, dissolved. So, so we're having to have our faith now off of the screen, off of people, off of the images and developing this relationship with this presence inside of us. And it's very uncomfortable um, mm. to be with yourself and let the truth be revealed. That's all you're doing. You're being with yourself, mm. calling upon the Lord, or you can call upon the guru of Ashokasha. It doesn't matter what you call it. Love, presence. And it will reveal itself to you. I love that saying, you don't have to do anything. Just sit in your room quietly. Don't even worry about being quiet. Just sit there and the truth has to fall at your feet. Clearly, I'm not good at these sayings, you guys. I'm not, don't ever, I'm not quoting it. I'm just giving you guys the idea of what like, I really believe. The more I am with myself and learn to be alone in my own skin and can feel the presence of love within me, then that's my development. Of, that's my relationship with Jesus strengthening and developing more and more the more i can be with myself and feel that love and everything extends from there yeah. i'm just remembering thomas keating said it's in the silence and consent it's just consent to let god in and even not believing in God, the word God at the moment, that still felt right to me. Like, okay, I don't have to know, I don't have to get the words right for whatever it is to come in. I just have to want it, I have to accept it and not be so focused. I, my focus has shifted. There's so much going on in my life, people, my mother's, dying of cancer, my dog's dying, my friend's dying, like people are dying around me. I've got financial problems, car problems, house problems, kids sick. I've got all the problems, but my attention isn't there anymore. My, my prayer isn't to fix those things anymore. So that there's been kind of a shift 
from wanting to, to fix these things and to instead asking for, show me, show me where, I, show me. I don't even know what, just show me because if I start to think I know what I need to be shown, it's, it's gone. So I'm not, that's why it's strange to me to say I'm at peace with everything that's going on around me. Everybody around me is freaking out. Oh. Either my, my situation, Jean, get a job, Jean, you need to go. <gasps> I'm, there's, people are scared for me and I am more peaceful than I've been in years. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> With exception of the moments where I just go into fear, which is mm -hmm. very hard. But uh, there's, there is still always a kind of level of peace that's always there. That is a miracle in itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No. Yeah, I think when it, there's so much going on like that, um, you have no choice but to just get really, really present and watch it all. That's what I've been telling everyone. This is like the last push. Um, now you, you have no choice but to get really present and watch it. And you're going to be shown that, you, that you're questioning your belief in God is actually the way to Him. You're actually more present than you've ever been. And to get real honest and say, I don't even know if you're there and who you are, is the kind of honesty it takes to develop a relationship. That's why we do all these expression sessions. It's like, say it. The minute you get in touch with your disbelief, then you can... It was embarrassing. It's really embarrassing when you're a spirit. That's the, the, an identity we most, I think, all of us have in our the people our families and around us is we're the spiritual one. And then to suddenly be the one saying, I don't know if I believe in God, it's like chaos. <laughs> it's embarrassing in a way. Yeah, that's good. That has to come out too. Pride, shame. I mean, whatever the concept is, everyone was, you know, shocked, shocked when I moved to a spiritual community, you know, but, mm -hmm. but I always had a relationship with God and a longing, but I, I acted out because I didn't feel his love. You know, I was like, what, what of this God? What of this loving God? Tell me more. You know, I needed to understand who I was praying to. And, you know, it's, it's, all you're doing is questioning, and that's what the awakening is. Oh, it's, I, feel, I feel so excited for you. And I know it, it can suck when the fear comes up, but the whole journey is facing your fears. That's it. To see that it's not real. Fear is not even real. Yeah, Spirit had me watch The Matrix. And I was like, oh, what? I don't want to watch The Matrix. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was so powerful. It's still streaming through my mind that, you know, mm -hmm. you are the one. You have made this world and you have the power to see that it's not there. You know, oh, I could just go on and on. But I just feel like we're all individually being shown right now what we need to, to take back our power. And what is our power? It's love. Mm. When I asked to know, I wanted to know unconditional love for everyone. And what I was really praying for, I saw, was to know that I was unconditionally loved by God, by the, you know, by the creator, like himself. Show me, you know, and that's your prayer. You don't have to say the word God, but you are calling to be shown that you're loved. I can promise you that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> cool. Five minutes remaining. Thank you. Well, I always tell them. They, I don't even know why they stick little notes up because I read them out loud every time I see them. <laughs> So, oh, well, it's such a, just such a gift to, yeah, I love when I really heard that I was just to show up and not know anything. And then when I was writing the email, I didn't even, usually I would have had a call with you to see what are we going to talk about. And neither of us felt that. Because I think everyone really needs to hear. I think we'll all face that moment where, um, are you really there? 
because I can't feel you. Yeah. And well, thank you. Much. Yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you. Yeah, it looks like you're in a, it, actually, it looks like your old place behind you for some reason. I don't know why. But, uh, uh. It's a new place, but all my places look the same. Uh -huh. <laughs> <You're gonna laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> I'll see you in France or somewhere in Europe very soon. I can't. I'm really, really praying. Yeah, we're with you. Yeah. We are with you. You're not alone. It's the one mind waking up and you're on it. You've already said yes. So like I said, sometimes we wish we could go back, but we took the uh, red pill. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jean. Thank you. Well, I was going to actually open it up for more questions, but I think I'll just, yeah, I only have a couple of more shows before I go on tour because next um, weekend is our online retreat on doing the doer, which I've already sent several people to. It's a huge healing for a lot of people. So join us if you can. And then they'll, I'll have two more shows before I go on um, tour. And I think Micah's there. Can, you, can I see her? Uh, yeah, we'll be flying to the Peace House on January 23rd um, to start our new adventure. Um, and we're going to be in the United States, but really we're going to be in Florida for a month and a half. That's where we're going to be. Um, and we're just setting up some gatherings right now and just visits. We're just going across Florida to visit and we're open to just stop in for a visit or to be hosted or Micah's in France with her friends on, a, on her own kind of retreat right now. So that's all her friends there. <laughs> They're always watching the show. It's good to see you guys. Um, and then um, we'll fly to Canada from Florida. We have a four-day retreat there. And then um, a four-day retreat back-to-back -back in Portugal, which I'm really excited. I would love to see some of you people in Europe at that Portugal retreat. I think um, Jesse and Rudy will be there and a couple of their friends. And um, then uh, I'll be in Europe, Holland-based, for three months, so just touring around and really, really excited. <laughs> We're so excited for it to all begin, but yeah. And then I have the school. What a, what a gift that I'll be passing on the school to Ken and Anna now, and um, they'll be overseeing the school, which is going to now not be a school, I'm sorry. They'll be overseeing La Casa, which will now be a Spanish ministry, because we have a huge Spanish ministry. So anyway, there's so much to share. Um, I, I, I guess Kristen does that on her show, The Gift. But yeah, I think I will come out. I'm going to do my last two shows just like this, like I show up for the school and just open it up if anyone has anything on their heart, um, because I feel like that's the guidance from spirit. So in two weeks, I, I would love to hear from you guys just to know where you're at, and just like I did with, um, with Jean. What a miracle to be able to join with you, Jean. And what, what a miracle it is to be able to um, go on tour and have a new adventure with Micah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I'll see you all in a couple of weeks back here on Humbled. I love you. Thank you so much for being with me.